Hi, and welcome to FSD Beta The Series. In these videos, I'm going to talk about my personal experiences with each beta update, specifically each setback and improvements I've noticed. So all here in one place. So with that, let's dive in. In my opinion, one of the biggest drawbacks in 9.2 is the falling distance at which it stays behind vehicles on the freeway. I've noticed that in stop and go traffic, it works okay, but as soon as the vehicle in front of me accelerates even slightly, the neural network likes to give a big gap that allows other vehicles to merge in front of me or annoy vehicles behind me. Back when Tesla was relying on radar and camera, this feature was nailed down but it seems like it got broken a little bit when they switched just the camera. So I feel like Tesla needs to recalibrate the camera only option when it comes to the falling distance on highways. Since we're on the topic of highways, I've also noticed that while in the right lane, if there is a vehicle merging onto the freeway, once the near network detects that vehicle, it will rapidly apply the brakes so that way it can slow down to let the merging vehicle get in front of me. However, every time I have to manually take over and maintain my original speed, allowing me to overtake the merging car by multiple car lengths. There is absolutely no reason why the Tesla should be slowing down when it can very easily and safely continue the same speed and let the vehicle that was merging merge on maybe 10 car lengths behind us instead of affecting the flow of traffic. This has been my biggest frustration with 9.2 so far, and this is actually the first version I've ever noticed this issue with. Now let's talk about bicyclists. In my experience in 9.2, any time the neural network detects a bicycle in front and path, no matter how far away they are, it immediately applies the brakes and slowing us down an average of five miles per hour. My issue with this is that it slows down regardless if it needs to, and it does that so it can help give it more time, in my opinion, to assess the situation. In addition to the initial slowdown, I also have footage you can see here, where the neural network attempts to go around a biker, entering the oncoming lane when approaching a blind hill. It was quite uneasy for me as a passenger because what if a vehicle was coming on the oncoming lane over the blind hill? It seems Tesla is still trying to find the sweet spot with bicycle detection. However, in 9.2, their current code personally annoys me. So if you think I'm being too harsh, let me remind you of Elon's recent tweet where he says, FSD beta 9.2 is not that great in my opinion. The team is rallying hard to improve. So continuing on Elon's tweet, I should talk about a very annoying bug I've experienced in 9.2. The hiccup is what I'll refer to as the windshield wiper bug, and I've never experienced it before this update. What happens is FSD will turn on the wipers for no apparent reason to me. My first assumption was the car is trying to clean the forward cameras, right? But the windshield was clear and it was a blue sunny day with little to no obstacles. Once the wipers are on, FSD seems to hijack the wipers, not allowing me to adjust them manually anytime FSD is engaged. This results in the wipers occasionally getting stuck on for minutes on end, as you can see here in my experiences in Napa, California. I've also run into the issue with the narrow network taking an increased amount of time to make an unprotected turn. As you can see here in this video, it took the narrow network a whopping two minutes to figure out what it wanted to do. And even after all of that, I had to manually press the accelerator to teach the car to go. I'm hoping that in future updates they'll be able to correct this issue as it did take far too long to sit there and there was multiple opportunities where it had the chance to go. I've also noticed that once the car does decide to make a turn, it will only regen into the turn and at the moment Apex will really put the power down and floor it out of the turn. When it's making a turn from a stop, it will just power down and floor it straight from the stop through the whole turn. I actually really like this and it shows me the neural network is actually becoming very more confident about where it wants to end up at the end of a turn. However, I would hope that Tesla would be able to find a happy medium between 9.1 and 9.2 for this algorithm. Now, if you're a viewer and you have any questions about 9.2, my experience as a beta tester, or pretty much any question you want answered, feel free to comment down below and we'll make sure to answer those questions in our next video series. Now, if you're not aware, Elon recently tweeted saying that they're gonna bypass 9.3 entirely and hopefully in roughly a week's time, we'll see beta 10 out. And I'm really excited to see 10 because nine was great. However, there was a few hiccups through each 9.1, 9.2 iteration. So I'm hoping 10 will bring a lot more solid improvements than nine did. Elon also teased in that same tweet that we'll maybe see a public button in roughly four weeks time. Comment down below on how accurate you believe that timeline will be. And if you think we'll actually see it in four weeks time. Thank you so much for tuning into our inaugural episode. If you enjoyed the content, please make sure to like this video. Also, feel free to subscribe if you want to support us as well as not miss out on future content. Thank you so much. Goodbye.